My question is related slightly to my uh, question as well. In the Quran about honey, it is said, Fi he shifaan min nas. Does it explain anywhere else what kind of illnesses are cured by honey? Well, this verse is a very interesting verse in the context, in the entire context. This primarily applies to the spiritual shifa. And uh, in fact, uh, it is the community of Mumini which has been described in these verses and uh, their qualities, what they do and how they do, and why they are capable of uh, removing other people's mal maladies and to uh, bless them with cure, spiritual elements. That is the first underlying meaning. But the apparent meaning, which is the secondary, is just an example of uh, an animal species, of how she does and behaves. And uh, as a result of that, whatever is produced is also useful for physical cure and physical treatment of ills. The Holy Quran also gives an indication or throws some light on the avenues of uh, investigation and exploration. It says, I will tell you that is uh, a very important pointer that if you want to investigate physically, I mean now talking in material terms, the qualities of cure of honey keep in view the variation in hues and shades of honey. Why are the very variations in shades and hues caused? If you further investigate this, then you will come to know that honeybee during the season of a flora starts sucking the nectar of a particular flower of that particular flora and as long as it is not exhausted it never changes to another type of flower. While other flowers are in full bloom you will see a particular honeybee going only to a particular flower and it doesn't meander from one to the other. So that shows the color and hue is derived from a particular flower. And the qualities of that flower are in fact absorbed by, uh, uh, by that uh, honey which is produced by that honeybee. So that shows, for further investigation, you have to investigate on the principle uh, ingredients of those flowers and the best way to administer that medicine which is in that flower would be through the means of honey. So a great science has opened up for the mankind to investigate by just a very oblique reference to the change in uh, um, shades and hues of honey. It's not meaningless. Why should Allah say suddenly that Yakro Yumim Bhutune Hash Sharabun Muftelefun Alwanhu? So that is because the flowers are different in shape. Honey gets the shapes from the flowers, and the pointer is towards the flowers in fact. Through the shapes, one, one's imagination transferred to the flowers. And this thing has been only recently discovered that the honeybee sticks to one type of flower during honey collection. It doesn't uh, just go, go on to any place 
even if there are many flowers very close and the temperatures are very low and there is the danger of death to the honeybee, once it has started sucking the nectar of a particular flower, it will never change. This discovery has been made recently by the West, but the Holy Quran also seems to point out to this. Yes, please.